Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Always Secured Automation. Today we will cover about basic automation concept in plant. In all power plant we need automation to control and monitor. In power plant we have major asset like Gas turbine A gas turbine is a combustion engine, it's the heart of a power plant, that can convert natural gas or other liquid fuels to mechanical energy. This energy then drives a generator, that produces the electrical energy, that moves along power lines to homes and businesses. Boiler The boiler generates steam at high pressure, and high temperature which can be used for steam turbine or desalination. Steam Turbine the steam turbine converts the heat energy of steam into mechanical energy. The generator then converts the mechanical energy into electric power. Wind turbine is a device that converts the kinetic energy of wind into electrical energy. Solar power plant is a facility that converts solar radiation, made up of light, heat, and ultraviolet radiation, into electricity suitable to be supplied to homes and industries. Nuclear power reactors use heat produced during atomic fission, to boil water and produce pressurized steam. The steam is sent through the reactor steam system, to spin large turbines blades that drive magnetic generators to produce electricity. Hydropower plant An impoundment facility, typically a large hydropower system, uses a dam to store river water in a reservoir. Water released from the reservoir flows through a turbine, spinning it, which in turn activates a generator to produce electricity. Desalination plant A thermal desalination technology based on flashing process, produces distilled quality water directly from seawater. Reverse osmosis is a common process to purify or desalinate contaminated water by forcing water through a membrane or filter. Now all this major asset need monitoring of parameters and control the process. So we have pressure, temperature, level and flow transmitter connected to process lines. We also have analyzers like pH, emission monitoring, conductivity and oil contain monitoring to check quality. The control of process is done by regulating the valves. Respective pumps and motors are also controlled to start and stop as per process requirements. Now all these devices need to send to control room, so all instruments are wired to local junction box. From junction box the common cable is sent to marshalling panel. What is marshalling panel? Marshalling panels provide cross-wiring functionality between field instruments and the control system. By having this type of interface, input and output issues can be quickly identified, and maintenance personnel can perform routine functions in the field without jeopardizing the heart of the control system. From marshalling the signal are connected to input-output modules of PLC or DCS. Then main automation logic is stored or programmed in PLC or automation processor. The software signal is passed to control room through industrial network switches. And finally in control room the control and monitoring is done. So this was the simple basic automation architecture was explained. Thank you for watching our video.